Well, good morning, Banner. How are you guys doing? I hope, I hope you had a great weekend, a great four-day weekend. Uh, we had a good Teachers Institute, and with me today, I have Mrs. Williamson. Hello. And Mrs. Williamson is our ESL teacher, and she's going to speak up real loud because she kind of said hello very softly oh, there. I'll be so. louder. Okay. <laughs> Mrs. Williamson, what, what, uh, how, how many years have you been teaching at Banner? This is my fourth year teaching at Banner. Fourth year, okay. And what, and what do you, you teach? What do you teach? I teach kindergarten through fifth graders. Um, basically, we work on getting better at our English skills. All the students that work with me are super awesome because they are all bilingual, sometimes trilingual, which means they can speak more than just English. So it's pretty cool the type of special students I get to work with. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, we're glad you're here this morning and, and introducing you to, to Banner Nation. And uh, hey, let's go over our birthdays this week. Do we have some birthdays coming up? Okay, we've got quite a few birthdays this okay. week. Okay. So starting off the week, we have Mrs. King. Her birthday was on February 17th. We also have um, Sia Talagheri on the 19th. Mila Mishra has a birthday on the 20th. Colton Mozak also has a birthday on the 20th. Sophia Cotton will celebrate her birthday on the 23rd of February, as well as Tejas Ganesh will have a birthday on the 23rd. And rounding out our week of birthdays, we have Mrs. Roberts, who is our occupational therapist in the building. Well, happy birthday, everybody. Hope you have a great week of birthdays. That's awesome. That is awesome. So, hey, just a, a reminder to parents out there that uh, kindergarten registration, we're going to have a bunch of kindergartners come next year. I cannot wait for the new kindergartners to come. It is going to be on the 26th, but right now, right now, as we speak, you can go in and pre-register your kindergartner. So if you go to the district website and go down to, um, <coughs> excuse me, where it says uh, registration information, please pre-register your kindergartner. Spread the news if you have some um, neighbors that uh, have kindergartners that are going to be coming to us next school year. Monday, we had the day off. Do you remember why we had the day off, Mrs. Williamson? We celebrated President's Day. Well, I got a question for you. Okay. Do you have a favorite president? Ooh, I tend to lean towards Abraham Lincoln just for the fact that he's a really good representative of Illinois. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, we, we have, a, it was President's Day, and I just got a few trivia things. Um, I, I will not ask you what you weigh, but I've, <laughs> I've got a, I, I've got a little trivia question on the shortest and lightest president ever. Okay. How tall are you, Mrs. Williamson? I'm five foot three. Five foot three, okay. Well, James Madison was the shortest and lightest president ever. He was five feet, four inches. Oh, he was taller than me. But he only weighed about a hundred pounds. Oh, wow. He's a tiny guy, a very, very small guy. And one other piece of information I was gonna share with us is Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter was a Democrat, and uh, he was the first president born in a hospital Oh. I don't know where the other ones were born, but he was born in a hospital. And apparently he was a speed reader. He could read up to 2,000 words in a minute. Wow. That's, that's pretty impressive. So, so anyway, just a little bit of trivia, but I hope you enjoyed your Monday off it being President's Day. Um, hey, this week I'm going to be visiting classrooms. It is the Read Aloud. And do you know much about Humpty Dumpty? Do you remember the story of Humpty Dumpty? He fell off a wall. He did. He had a great fall. Oh, very good. Yeah. Very good, Mrs. Williamson. <laughs> this, this book is called After the Fall. So I'm looking forward to coming into all your classrooms uh, this, this coming week. So um, be ready for it. All Something right. else we have coming up this week is a vision and hearing testing. That will be on Tuesday and Wednesday of this week. If you are new to the school district this year, new to Dunlap, you will be getting both your hearing and your vision tested. If you're a kindergartner or a second grader, you will also be getting both your hearing and your vision tested. If you are a first grader or a third grader, you'll be getting your hearing tested only. I didn't hear all that. Could you repeat that? The whole thing? No, I, may, I need to work on my oh. hearing, I think. I don't know. Maybe I need, maybe and need I've got glasses, and yeah, maybe I need to get some hearing tested as well, too. Uh, Mrs. Fairchild says I need to get my hearing tested, so maybe I really should also participate oh, in that God. testing. Um, Tuesday night, our fourth and fifth grade students that are in band and orchestra, they have been working hard, practicing. I hope that you guys have been practicing a lot but uh, they've gone um, uh, to the high school and middle school and, and they have a big concert this coming Tuesday, actually it's tonight at 6.30 and it'll be at Hickory Grove Elementary School. So best of luck to our band and um, orchestra students this coming Tuesday night. Speaking of fourth grade, uh, fourth graders go to the Holt Center this coming Thursday morning and they get to learn about the heart and the digestive system. And uh, I believe they have some kind of a heart 
um, relay or something or, or something that they run through. And, and uh, do you know a lot about the heart? I, I can't say I know a lot about the heart. I know I have one. Well, you, 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 you can go to the field trip if you'd Maybe like. Maybe I should. Fourth grade, can okay. I come along, learn some more? Any fourth graders, stop by Miss Williamson and tell her what <laughs> you what you learned. It. Yes, you got it. You got it. Um, this coming Wednesday also, uh, students aren't as interested in this, but we have a school board meeting. And uh, so that will be at 6 o'clock. And I tell you what, uh, Mrs. Baker... Uh, her students had indoor recess. We've had a lot of indoor recesses lately. It stinks. We've been inside a lot. But uh, they they created this awesome domino. Um, I don't know. You just have to see it. Why don't you come watch, see what Mrs. Baker's kids did in recess last week right now. Check it out. <laughs> and we're back wasn't that awesome did you like yeah, that dominoes that was amazing great job second grade it, i mean it, there was a lot of dominoes just to set that up that was a lot of work so great job you guys that was very very impressive and we are at that time mrs williamson okay do, it is time for the joke of the week all right all right what do you got for me i've been preparing hard for this since okay. it has been president's or since it was president's day yesterday i thought i would find a joke related to a president and i shared that my favorite president is Abraham Lincoln, so this joke has to do with him. What would you get if you crossed a gorilla with the 16th U.S. president? What would I get if I crossed a gorilla with the 16th president of the yes. U.S.? Yes. I have no idea. What is it? Ape Lincoln. Ape Lincoln, not Abe Lincoln. Oh, that is good. I love it. That's a great one, Mrs. Williamson. Yeah, like we need something in the background. I love that. So awesome. That's a, a perfect for this week. So Banner students, I hope you have a, a great week. And, and always remember, you belong here.